Don't watch TV. Don't read magazines. Don't even listen to NPR. Create your own. popular demand. We have the Dinosaur Max. That's right. We have been asked about it quite a bunch. Quite a bunch is of a bunch. So we decided we'd do a little bit of research and try to get this thing figured out. Because there is just not enough actual dinosaur cartoons filled Dinomax. But don't worry, because we did some research and found some classic cartoons. Joey is trying to get my attention. He is nibbling my side. Stop it! So we got a bunch of classics put together for today for you. But something else is special about today, as I'm sure you've seen and recognized from the bling that I wear upon my crown and upon my chest. What is so special about this week, Yizzle? It's my birthday. Birthday! And how old does the Yizzle become? Ten. Ten? That's right, Max Squad. I just turned 10 on Monday and I had an awesome birthday. Yes! We had a great time. The Yizzle got some great presents. And we are going to do one more present for the Yizzle. And next Sunday, with the new Sunday, Max, it is going to be a birthday, Max. All oh, Yizzle lineups. That's right. The Yizzle herself, by herself, is going to pick every last episode that we watch on Sunday next week. So aren't you excited? I know I'm excited. The Yizzle's excited. I'm so excited. But we are going to get right in to the Dino Max because I know you've been waiting for it. So Yizzle, what do these kindly people first need to do before we start hanging with dinosaurs? Huh? Uh Hang out with us right here from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Easter Santa time! And be with us for the closer, because it's going to be a good one. Right here on the only place to be for Saturday mornings and for awesome dinosaur specials. Arg, arg, arg. Ah, ah. Right here on Saturday morning cartoon out. Roar! Roar! Oh! <laughs> 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 
Oh no! Amber! Let's get help from Green Meadow. Gosh, Amber, I hope you're all right. Don't worry, Shyler. We'll get her back. Krusty! Krusty! Amber's hurt! Krusty! 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 got hurt, and the beast carried her away. The beast? Are you sure? Yeah, he came down the mountain. Krusty, we've got to see. He's right. The beast is dangerous. Now, now, let's not panic. We have to concentrate on the best way to save Amber. Listen, old timer. When I was young, the beast came into our valley. We had to hide then. But now it's time to face him. To form a rescue party. You're all going to have to keep things under control, Dink. What do you mean? Those fellows are full of bad stories about the beast. But you remember, the beast has never actually hurt anyone. See the meat eater after that. Do you know what happened to my friends? I'm scared of what happened to them. Did. Oh, I believe the meat eater left before it could harm them. Thank you. Ah, we had these back home in Green Meadow. You're from Green Meadow? What's wrong? Um, I have avoided that place for years. The sight of me, I'm sure, would frighten others. I know, I've heard the stories, but I'm not scared anymore. Oh, don't worry, I'll find your friends for you. You lure him out of his cape, then I'll get Amber. Got it! It's him! Okay, Flopper, I'm counting on you! It's Amber's friend. Wait! Come on. Follow 
Follow me, big guy. Just a little bit more. Can't let them hurt Amber. Telling how long it'll hold him. Hurry! No, he saved me, Dink. They're hurting him. You've got to stop him. He's not gonna get out of this one. Why are they hurting him? They're out of control, and there's nothing we can do. Stop! Let us handle this. I told you not to hurt him. No, he's dangerous. Got the chance. No, he wouldn't. He's just defending himself. He saved my life. Would somebody who is really dangerous do that? Well, it, it's, it's true. He hasn't harmed her. Yes, I think that's right, absolutely. Are you okay? Amber, are you guys okay? Everything's fine now. Thank you for saving Amber. I am surprised you are not afraid to look at me. Gosh, we won't be afraid of Amber's friend. You see, no one fears you anymore. Thanks to you. After these messages, we'll be right back. We were hunting dinosaurs, but we became the prey. The Lost World Jurassic Park. We were pursuing a parasaur when the dino cycle suffered dino damage. And we were surrounded by screaming raptors. The raptors were all over us. We activated our glide packs to escape, but a pteranodont canceled our flight. Something has survived. Will you? The Lost World Jurassic Park. Look for the mark of Jurassic Park figures and vehicles each sold separately. What's Nickelodeon's new game show, Finders Keepers, all about? It's easy. All you gotta do is find the hidden pictures. Hot dog is correct. Find the hidden clues. Is it the comb? Is it the comb? It is the comb for 50 bucks. Keep the cash. Keep the prizes. Keep it all. All right, you ready to go? All right. Find it. Finders Keepers. Find it every weekday at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Central, only on Nickelodeon. Yeah. 
like you last night. I wouldn't know what to say. Besides, why would she want to be my friend anyway? Because you're, you're a nice guy. Yeah. What's so nice about me? Well, um, you're, you're very strange. Thanks. Don't worry, Shyler. We'll help you. Yeah, my great uncle Big Beak was an expert at introducing himself. Sure he was, Flap. All you gotta do is impress her, and I'm gonna show you how. <laughs> no, I can't look. <laughs> want to make friends, don't you? Then let's do it. Now swing on down there and make a big entrance. Well, if you say so. way to get to her. But I don't know any poems. I'll teach you one. <clears throat> Your eyes are as blue as the deep blue sea. Your skin is as green as an emerald tree. Whenever you're near, my heart goes nuts. For you are as pretty as a red rose bud. You don't like my poem? Oh, yes. I think it's beautiful. Then what's the problem? I'm not good at remembering things. Don't worry, Shyler. My Uncle Big Beak helped a fellow with the same problem. Are you sure this is going to work, Flapper? Sure. I'll whisper the words and you recite them to her. Here she comes. Your eyes are as blue as the deep blue sea. Your eyes are as blue as the deep blue sea. Your skin is as green as an emerald tree. Your skin is as green as an emerald tree. Whenever you're near, my heart goes thud. Whenever you're near, my heart goes thud. For you are as pretty as a... Why don't you try 
try apologizing to her. I'd probably make things worse. Things couldn't get much worse. Scat! Yeah. Well... I know! Why don't you give her a gift? Like what, Amber? Well, how about this? Everyone loves Melon Berry. I can't wait to see her face when she sees this. Just talking to her? I was afraid. I didn't think she'd listen to me. Let me tell you about the time I was but a pup turtle, and I wanted to meet a young lady. She was a darling sight, my boy. I thought the only way I could get her attention was to impress her. Well, nothing stopped me. I kept trying to show her I was the best turtle that ever was. And so I did a lot of <laughs> dumb things. Nothing worked. Finally, I was too tired and beat up to do anymore. So I figured I'd just go up and say, hi. Hi. So what happened? Well, she became one of my very best friends. Well, you never know until you try. All you gotta do is waddle those little feet of yours on up to her and ask her if she wants to be friends. What if she doesn't want to? But what if she does? She's probably shy, too. If you want to be friends, you gotta take the chance. I'll do it. Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. What a meal, what a meal. A whole bowl of cereal. What a meal, what a meal. A whole bowl of cereal. When someone
that Tom is the Green Ranger. There's got to be a mistake. Alpha, are you sure about this? The computer matched his interspatial biovibrations with the Green Rangers. Yeah, but the computer's also been under repair. Maybe it made a mistake. Not likely. Alpha corrected the malfunction. Then Tommy is the Green Ranger. How could Tommy do this to us? Rita must have cast a spell over Tommy and is controlling his mind. You see, Rangers? We can't give up. We have to break Rita's spell and save Tommy. To the destruction of Megazord! And total domination of Earth! Cranberry <laughs> and oyster juice! <laughs> and now the end is clear! Yep, after today. It was all possible because of our great Empress Rita! Yes! <laughs> but my brilliant plan continues! <laughs> Are you ready for the fight? Yes, my Empress. It will be an honor to help you conquer Earth. <laughs> of course. Oh, this will be good. This will be so good. Oh, Rita, 
Zombies who will rule the world. She'll enslave mankind. She'll destroy the command center again. Okay, She'll... okay, Alpha, you, you made your point. Then you'll reconsider. All right. The okay. Let's do it. We have to find Tommy and break Rita's spell. Let's split up and look for him. What if he's at Rita's palace? Then we wait him out. I'll show up sooner or later. What about Zordon, Alpha? Green Ranger thought he got rid of him for good, but there's still a chance that I can bring Zordon back. You keep working on that, Alpha. As for the rest of us, we'll find Tommy. Can you believe this is happening? I know, it's terrible. Thank goodness for the Power Rangers. Hey, you should be thanking us. Yeah, us. Yeah. Hey, we're the ones that helped the Power Rangers scare off that big, ugly gold guy. Right. Yeah, right. We're the ones that should be on TV. Yeah. On TV. Dream on, Bulk. Ernie, have you seen Tommy? The new kid, right? Yes. He's over there. Thanks. Tommy. Tommy, I know. I know you're the Green Ranger. Well then, Pink Ranger. You should also know that you and the other Power Rangers will soon be destroyed. Let us help you. We can break Rita's spell. Rita is my empress. She will soon rule the world. Tommy, please let us help you. You have been warned. But Goldar, we haven't seen this Zord in 10,000 years. Quiet! What if we can't Silence, you fools! If she chooses to call forth the dragon's horn, then it will be called forth. <laughs> to Empress Rita once I and my Zord put down the Power Rangers forever! <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I've got to find a way to get Zordon back. If I can just manage to gain access to his dimensional files. Let's see. Numerical sequence is correct. Sector 10Q9. Hmm. Search initiated. Access granted! I've done it! I'm in! Computer, begin search of Sector 10Q9, sweeping all perimeters. Well, Zordon, now it's only a matter of time. So you found Tommy? Yeah, and his eyes were glowing green. It was really scary. Wow, man. He has known all along who we are. That we're the Power Rangers? Mm -hmm. And he is definitely out to get us. He's got to be under one of Rita's spells. That would explain why he's been acting so weird. And why the putties didn't attack him. Finally, this is all starting to make sense. Trini, what's wrong? This big trouble downtown is all over the radio. A monster's attacking the business district. Rita's not gonna give up, is she? It's morphin' time! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! 
Triceratops! Saber-Tooth Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Let's do it! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, man! Let's <laughs> Surprise! Ah! He's on top of the building! Tommy! Dragonzord! Destroy the Power Rangers! What is he doing? He's calling to the Dragonzord with his flute! I'm destroying you! And I'm doing it because my Empress commands me to! Soon she'll rule the world! <laughs> What's this? Uh, Tommy, no! Uh, why doesn't he stop fooling around and finish them? Don't do this, man! But I must! There is no other choice! <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Any Alpha 5, well done. You have re-established our computer link-up. Zordon, it's you. You're back. Yes, Alpha. Get them to their Zords immediately. Their Zords have been taken away. The Green Ranger is on the rampage. By destroying his Sword of Darkness, they will break Rita's evil spell. It's glowing! Mine too! Yeah. Zordon's back!
Sun says I've got to destroy your sword to save you before you and Rita destroy the world. All right, I'm going down. And now, Red Ranger, it is time for me to destroy you. I must be victorious for my queen! I think he's finally going to do it. Guys, let's morph. Right. You destroyed the power sword. Rita's spell is broken. You okay, Tommy? What's happening to me? You're no longer under Rita's power. Uh, my head's spinning. Come on. You'll be okay, man. What have I done? What you did, you did under Rita's influence. You own the power now. Fight by our side and we can defeat Rita. After everything that's happened? Tommy, we need you. It's where you belong. Will you join us, Tommy? Oh, look, Sword Eye. You're watching History in the Making, Alpha. Finally, the prophecy has been fulfilled. The Six Ranger is now one of us. Hooray! <gasps> All right then, it's morphin' time. Dragon Sword, Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Saber Two Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. Yeah! yeah. We're good. We're ready to morph into action. Six working together to fight evil and stop Rita and all her menacing monsters from destroying our planet. And ruin the universe with evil. Look out, Rita, we're not backing down because we're the Power Rangers! Rangers, with our new friend comes new power. Use your flute, Tommy, and bring life to the Dragon Zord. For when he combines with the Mastodon, Triceratops, and Sabertooth Tiger, a new fighting machine will be at our disposal. Sword in fighting mode. Check it out! Man! Predict more phenomenal! The safety of the universe is once again in your hands, Power Rangers. No! Oh, I can't believe those pinheads beat us! I will avenge you, my queen. I promise you, Zordon and his Power Rangers will be made to pay! We missed you, Zordon. Rauron here was pretty low without you. The fact remains that even as you faced your greatest danger, with all the odds stacked against you, you carried on like true superheroes and persevered. We really owe a lot to Alpha. Uh... Alpha, you displayed exemplary leadership capabilities in my absence. I am very proud of you. Oh, well, um, I, uh, ah, uh, shucks. And now I welcome our newest ranger. Now that you are a true Power Ranger, Tommy, you must follow three basic rules or lose the protection of the power. First, never use your power for personal gain. 
Second, never escalate a battle unless Rita forces you. And finally, keep your identity secret. No one may know you are a Power Ranger. Count on me, Zordon. 100%. Here, I made you a communicator. Oh, thanks, man. You're one of us now. Welcome on board. A new chapter has begun, Rangers. Let the power protect you. Stay tuned, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. Unhappy birthday to you, unhappy birthday to you. Unhappy birthday, dear Freaky. Unhappy birthday to you. Uh? Down, Rockjaw! Mmm, delicious, idiot. What kind is it? <laughs> I thought I'd try something different this year, Frank. It's chocolate mousse. Yum! I love chocolate mousse! <gasps> but chocolate mousse doesn't always agree with me. <laughs> Atrocia, dear. Are you blowing up the party balloons? I sure am, Mother. Oh, <laughs> it's perfect. I couldn't have done better myself. Hey, everybody. I'm home. Well, there's the birthday boy now. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Freaky, are you feeling all right? Your cheeks are so rosy. I'm fine, Mom. I just ran home from the Flintstones. The Flintstones? I thought I told you to stay away from those strangers. They're a bad influence. Frank, Frankenstone, don't be such an old stick in the blood. Sure, the Flintstones are different, but that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Hey, I'm glad you both feel that way, because I've invited Pebbles to my party. What? Oh, no, you don't, Freaky. This time, I'm putting my foot down. I'll save you, Daddy. Mr. Flintstone. That came from my lawnmower, Mrs. Frankenstone. Wilma says your husband borrowed it. Oh, yes. Frank's mowing the carpet. Come in, come in. Mowing the carpet? Yes, we're getting ready for Freaky's big birthday party. I can't believe how quickly he's growing up. Living here would age anybody fast. Dear, Fred Flintstone's here. If it isn't the next door nitwit, what do you want? First, I want some respect. And second, I want my lawnmower. Half of that you got. Here. Oof. I just finished. Frank. Oh, thank you. You are almost welcome. Oof. Yeah. Oh, look, Mr. Flintstone. You're getting a hug from our rug. What did I tell you, idiot? Those Flintstones are totally wacko. Which reminds me... Freaky! Yeah, Dad? Did you want to invite Pebbles Flintstone to your party yet? Um, well, 
Uh, just as I thought. Then go to it right now. But, Dad... Freaky! Hey, I'm going, I'm going! Gosh, she doesn't have to get so steamed up about it. Hi, Freaky. My dad says you can't come to my birthday party this afternoon. Oh, Freaky, why not? Because he thinks your family is, well, strange. Oh. But I just had an idea that might work, Peb. We'll disguise you to look like one of my distant cousins. Then later, when we remove our disguise, my dad will realize what nice people you Flintstones really are. Great idea. See you in an hour. Wow, Freaky, you're the smartest big brother in the whole world. Dad'll blow his top if he finds out. Now promise you'll keep this a secret. Okay, okay. We won't say another word, will we, gang? And we have to get ready to help Freaky's plan work, right? <laughs> Boy, I don't believe this. Look at all the weirdos going in there. Fred Flintstone, you ought to be ashamed of yourself spying on people like that. People? Wilma, those ding-dongs are from another planet. Or worse. Mark my words, Wilma. Those Frankenstones are a menace to the neighborhood. Oh, my name's not... Pebbles Flintstone! It's Pebbles! She's going to the Frankenstone party! Wilma, she's not safe with those creeps. I'm gonna get her. Pebbles, are you ready yet? Yeah. How do I look? Just like one of the family. Come on, let's join the party. Wait, Freaky, are you sure we're not going to get in trouble for this? Hey, trust me, Pebbles. My dad will never know until it's too late. This should have been a surprise party, because it sure is going to be full of surprises. <laughs> Great party, huh, Pebbles? It's very, uh, unique. Well, well. Now, here's the kind of young lady I like to see my son associate with. Not like that Flintstone girl next door. Boy, oh boy, if I've told Pebbles once, I've told her a thousand times not to come over here. Hey, Pebbles? I know you're in there. Pebbles? You who? No! <laughs> oh, um, Mr. Flintstone, what can I do for you? You and your creepy friend can tell me where Pebbles is. Well. Uh, I think it's great that you could come to the party, uh, uh, Mr. Flintstone. You keep away from me, weirdo. But, but, sir, it's a perfect opportunity for you to get to know Freaky and his family better. They're really very nice. Hey, right. And you're just in time for all the goodies. We're having upside-down cake. Mmm. Oh, uh, uh, forget the cake, Freaky. Oh, you don't want any cake? <laughs> Well then, at least have some ice cream. Yay! Guess your father just doesn't have a sweet tooth. Or a strong stomach. All right, everyone, it's time to do the boogaloo. Hit it, boys! <laughs> Yeah, he's a regular John Revolta. Frank, you'd better slow down. Remember your oil pressure. Don't worry, my dear. I just had a tune-up. Oh, that girl with Freaky is my kind of girl. Maybe there's hope for Freaky yet. The plan's working. Daddy likes Pebbles. And I bet he'll like her even better when he sees what a great dancer she is. Go, Freaky, go! Show him some super fast footwork. Ricky, wait, slow down. Uh, I can't. Well, I think I did a 
bad thing. Apple's Flintstone. Freaky! Temper, Frank, temper. Don't temper me, idiot. I'm mad, mad, mad. Oh, dear. I knew it. His circuits have scrambled. Gosh, Freaky, he looks like a TV set on the fritz. Oh, great. And he's the only TV repairman in town. Wait a sec. Our TV does this sometimes. I think I know how to fix him. How? First, hold him still. I'll try. There! Fixed! Oh. Oh. Thank badness you're all right. Yeah. Pebbles, you saved my circuit. Oh, maybe I have been wrong about you, Flintstone. Hold it! Then again, maybe I haven't. Keep away from my daughter, you creep! Come on, Pebbles, I'm rescuing you from all these weirdos. But, but, Dad, one of the weirdos was me. See? Huh? Just because these people look and act a little different from us doesn't mean we can't all be friends. Right. So why don't you come join the party? Him? Are you crazy? Uh -huh. We'd love to have you, Mr. Flintstone. Well, I, uh... Aw, oh, come on, Mr. Flintstone. We're just getting ready to play pin the tail on the monster. Daddy, wait! You see what I mean, Hidia? Those Flintstones are a bunch of yo-yos. Him? Well, if my son has to associate with yo-yos, at least he picked the best yo-yo in the bunch. And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. That's something. Wait until you see my cousin, Lady Edwina. See? What'd I tell you? Oh, wow! Uncle Randall. Auntie Marlena. How nice to see you both again. Welcome, Edwina. It's good to have you back in Eternos. I really should have visited before, but with all the parties I have to attend, I can hardly get away. You remember Adam, of course. Can this really be little Adam? Oh, just look at the way you've grown. I swear, if we weren't cousins. <laughs> Edwina, let me present Orko, our resident magician. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> and our men at arms, Duncan. And his daughter, Captain Tila. Oh, how do you do? Well, I'd love to stay and chat with the help. But I'm really rather tired. The help? Why? If you'd be kind enough to show me to my room, Adam. Of course. Good day, Your Majesties. Men at arms. Tippy. 
That's Tila. She may be the king's niece, but I've never met a ruder, more arrogant, sweeter, and lovelier, and prettier. Oh, come on, Orko. You can't be serious. I am serious. I think she's beautiful. Sorry, but I'm afraid I didn't bring anything uh, um, suitable to wear with it. Thanks anyway, Porco. It's Orco. Oh, Orco. Hey, take it easy, little buddy. If I wasn't a poor little nobody, I could give her a real gift. Then she really liked me. Orko, you can't buy a friend. Not a real one, at least. Sure, just be yourself, old pal. You've got a lot going for you. Hello, everyone. You may not know it, Edwina, but you're in the presence of a hero. Huh? What hero? Oh, really? Yep. Years ago, Orko saved my life. It happened in the season of storms. Back when I was a kid, Cringer and I were out playing that day and had wandered far from the palace. Suddenly, a storm broke loose and we found ourselves lost in the tar swamps. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, don't worry, Cringer. We'll be all right. But we weren't the only ones in the swamp that day. Somehow, the storm's incredible power had opened a temporary doorway which pulled Orko out of his world and stranded him on ours. Help! Help! Uh-oh! They're in trouble! Hang on, kid! I'll save you! Oh, Magic Medallion, hear my command and give these two a helping hand! Because of his bravery, we adopted Orko and made him a member of the royal court. And that's how my little friend here became a hero. Could that charm you lost really work magic? Oh, sure. My medallion can conjure up just about anything. Oh, it's too bad you don't have it now. Hmm. Orko! Hmm, it's not like Orko to miss breakfast. I don't think he's been here all night. Look, his bed hasn't been slept in. Yesterday he was talking about the magic medallion he lost in the tar swamp. Oh, you don't think he really... I'm afraid so. We'd better find him before he gets there. Once I find the magic medallion, I'll wish up a great present for Edwina. I seem to remember it was right around here. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> of your special <laughs> talents. You have the primeval potion? Right here. With this magic brew, I can bring back any of the prehistoric monsters that perished in this swamp, and I'll use those monsters in my conquest of Palace Eternia. The palace? Oh, no. I gotta warn them. Yikes! Who's there? It's the king's fool. 
Orko, leave this to me. Powers of darkness, make wings appear and fly that sprite back over here. Hey! Well, well, my little visitor. <laughs> a little room of what we have planned for He-Man Evelyn. Look at what's coming now. He-Man, use your mental power to tame and command that creature. Good. Now to take the palace. It's a good thing Adam decided not to come. I know he means well, but his bumbling would only get in the way. Well, if he can contact He-Man for us, he'll be doing more than his share. By the power of Grey Sky. Time Warp. Where am I? Ancient Pre-Eternia, Lost Land of the Dinosaurs. Thunderous Tyrannosaurus Rex battles mighty Bionotops, ferocious dinosaurs. Take this, He-Man. How can He-Man survive? I have the power. New from the Masters of the Universe, figures Bionotops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Turbo Gacto eat so suddenly. Can He-Man escape the past and them? I saw you were in trouble, I flew down to help. It's a good thing you were nearby, Stratos. I'd still like to know where those monsters came from. I don't know, but I'll bet you anything Skeletor is mixed up in this. Right, E fool! Skeletor! Let Orko go or I'll... This troublesome trollin is the least of your worries. Look! It's Dracodon! A hungry Dracodon, and we're taking him to lunch at the palace. Not if we stop you first. I'm sorry, He-Man, but you weren't invited. <laughs> Let's go. Here comes the other one. Catch me 
if you can, you flying freak. He won't be going anywhere for a while. Thanks, Stratos. Now, let's get back to the others. Stratos, could you fly Tila and Man-at-Arms back to the palace? Sure, no problem. Good. We've got to catch up with Skeletor and his monster. And they have a big head start. Edwina? Oh, Uncle Randor. Have you been down here all this time, girl? Your aunt and I have missed you. I'm sorry, Uncle, but you have such lovely things. These gaudy trinkets? Come, I'll show you some real sights. If you insist. Oh! What's happening? A Drakadon! But they've been extinct for ages. Greetings, King Randor. Unless you'd like my pet here to demolish the palace, You'll surrender to me immediately. My dear, in order to protect you and the kingdom, I must agree. Just you against us, Skeletor. Fool! Did you think I'd face you myself? 
You have to defeat my head first. Look up there! On the monster's back! Uh, I don't see anything! It's my magic medallion! It must have stuck to the monster when he came out of the swamp! Orko, wait! Come back! Come on now! Gotta get you loose! Oh, I wish you'd come out! Hey! It worked! Orko! We'll keep the monster busy while you think up a spell to send it back. I think you bit off more than you can chew this time. Then again, maybe you didn't. Save our friends. Who cares about them? Wish us away from this awful place. I couldn't do that. Oh, think of all the gold and jewels we could have. We could be rich without a care in the world. And I'd be your very best friend. No, my friends were right. You don't like me. You only like the things this medallion can do. Oh, I wish none of this had ever happened. After these messages, we'll be right back. At last, I've got He-Man trapped with my walls of evil. Oh, yeah? Bastiosaurus bashes evil away. Skeletor, He-Man figures, and Bashasaurus vehicle, each sold separately. Bash away! Bashasaurus, Bashasaurus. Next bash is on you, bone face. Yarr! Bashasaurus, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. Not for use with some figures, each toy sold separately. From Mattel. Dragon Walker, Battle Armor, He-Man, and Skeletor and Merman each sold separately. Step right this way, He-Man! Battery is not included. Watch that! Dragon Walker! Take that, He-Man! May the mightiest power prevail! New Dragon Walker vehicle for use with most Masters of the Universe figures. Action figures each sold separately. From Mattel. Orko, you are very brave using your magic medallion to save us. I'm sorry you had to lose your wonderful amulet, but we both thank you for what you did. Ah, uh, twerk nothing. But you, Lady Edwina, have behaved in a shameful manner. Until you mend your rude and selfish ways, you are no longer welcome here. Ah, uh, Lady Edwina. I know we didn't get along, but I'd like to give you this to remember me by. Well, at least someone still appreciates me. I thought Orko learned you can't buy friends with presents. Actually, I think that's a lesson Orko will never forget. <laughs> Today's story was about something more precious, more valuable than gold or silver. It's called friendship. Orko learned that friendship can't be bought. Giving somebody a present may get that person to act as if he or she is your friend, but don't be fooled. A real friend is someone who likes you for yourself, not your presence. So don't try to buy friendship. Just be yourself and treat others with honesty and respect. And then you'll know the friends you make will be real ones.
stay right there. Another action-packed lineup of Saturday morning cartoon Max Out is coming up next. Die, and then it has to get buried, uh, usually by erosion. You know, rain falls down, washes dirt downhill, and covers things. Although sometimes it can be volcanoes and cover things with ash. This is a piece of a backbone from a myosaur. It's probably about 30 feet long, about 10 meters long. And they weighed two and a half tons, 5,000 pounds. Now, how much do you weigh? Like 50 pounds, 100 pounds? 5,000 pounds! Now, how do we know it was that big? We dug it up. See, we didn't dig her up. We dug this up. Note the resemblance? See, we don't just dig up dinosaur bones, like this would be myosaur shoulder bone. We also have found their nests and groups of their nests. That's right. She laid eggs in a nest, which she kept warm with rotting leaves. She laid about a dozen eggs at a time. The kids were about this big, and they got out of their eggs by breaking through the top of the shell. We can even figure out what they ate. Like tonight, it looks like it's a berry salad. Myosaurs always ate their vegetables. Now, let's say you're a dinosaur, a, a potosaurus. Yeah, potosaurus. And you were walking along, minding your own business, and there was a flood, oh, no. and you got buried very quickly. You drowned in silt and mud washed down over your bones and covered you up. Then over time, minerals worked their way into the little gaps in your bones. Your bones became per-mineralized. Minerals all the way through. OK, and you sat there for 65 million years. Then, about 100 years ago, a paleontologist comes along. This would be Mary. Looking carefully, maybe poking around. She goes, oh, what's this? And she very carefully brushes away the sand and dirt that you've been burying. In. And, oh, look. An Apatosaurus. <laughs> yeah, Apatosaurus. <laughs> Quite a wild time for a dinosaur. You can make a fossil at home. All you need is a dinosaur bone, an ancient saltwater sea, and a fossil burial bed. Here's what you do. You cut your bone out of an old sponge. Your mom or dad may have one that you can use. That's perfect. Then you need to make an ancient saltwater sea. So add 100 milliliters of salt to 250 milliliters of warm water. It's got to be way salty. Now you need a place to bury a fossil, a fossil burial bed. Pour some sand into a bowl like this. Leave a little room at the top. Now you need to bury your bone. Bury it deep in the middle of the fossil burial bed. The sand is like a riverbank where the dinosaur may have come to drink millions of years ago. Pour the salt water over the buried bone. Take your bowl and put it someplace sunny, like a windowsill. In a few days, dig up your fossil. The salt crystals fill in the little spaces in the sponge, making it stiff and hard, just like a fossil. Real fossils didn't get filled in with salt as much as other minerals, but the idea is the same. This is Bruno. Hi. This is Bruno's femur. This is Christy. This is Christy's femur. But it used to belong to a dinosaur called the Barosaurus. Where can I find a Barosaurus femur? Buried in the ground or in a museum. What if I want a new one? You can't get a new one. Giant dinosaurs were gone a long time before we got here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And their fossils are really old. So I missed real giant dinosaurs? Yeah, by a bunch. Wait a minute. How do we know that dinosaurs really did exist, huh? The first clue that dinosaurs once lived is right here. This is solid rock. If you look carefully, right here are solid bones. These are dinosaur bones from a, a very large dinosaur. Probably a sauropod. Could have been Apatosaurus, Barosaurus, Camarasaurus, Diplodocus, something very large. And it's buried in this rock. Also in this formation, people have found stegosauruses, all kinds of wild dinosaurs that lived about 150 million years ago. It was a big, big dinosaur bone party here. Apparently, the dinosaurs died real suddenly, and they were washed downstream by a river and covered with sand. The sand and the bones turned to stone. So right here, a bone like this, this is the first clue for scientists for knowing that dinosaurs once lived. James. Hi. And this is his room. It's looked like this pretty much since, well, forever, I guess. Usually I don't come in here because I think it's sad. But today, for the first time ever, all this junk is going to come in handy. You see, looking for something in a mess like this is a lot like digging for fossils. The deeper you dig, the older stuff you'll find. There might even be stuff you don't want to find. 
my last report card. I haven't seen it since the July 20th game. I took the home away from JJ. Just think of Fawcett. The longer something's been left on the floor, the more there is on top of it. Scientists can learn a lot about dinosaurs from looking at how the fossils have been buried, how deep they are, and what's around them. And that's what makes fossils so exciting. Even the ones you find in a room like this. Consider the following. Dinosaurs lived about 160 million years, and they all died out about 65 million years ago, all at once. Now, why is that? Many scientists now believe it might have been a meteorite, or groups of meteorites, big rocks from space. Let's say this box of flour is like the surface of the Earth, and this ball of pepper is like a meteorite, a meteorite that would have come hurtling toward our planet at over 100,000 kilometers a second. So imagine. 65 million years ago. And using the slingshot of science will create a meteorite impact on the Earth's surface. See? It forms a crater, and dust is ejected into the atmosphere. Now, if enough dust were thrown into the atmosphere and could stay there long enough, it would block the light from the sun and kill the plants that the dinosaurs depended on to live. Now, there's another reason we think the dinosaurs were killed by meteorites. All over the Earth, at about the same level we find fossilized dinosaur bones, we find this weird metal called iridium. But we don't find it very much on the Earth. But we find it all the time in meteorites. So maybe this layer of iridium all over the Earth was deposited by the same meteor or meteorites that killed the dinosaurs. Now, you know, the Earth is hit by meteorites all the time. What? It could happen again. Thank you for considering the following. After years of peaceful existence on the distant planet Valoria, Questar and his people were forced into battle. The power of their step crystal ripped a hole in the fabric of time, sending them backward to prehistoric Earth. Unaware that at the same moment the evil Emperor Krulos was plotting to capture the step crystal with his own grotesque Rulon forces. And so the battle continues in a new place in time with Dino Riders. Let's show them our new stuff, loop-de-loop. -loop. Now roll out the barrel. I couldn't have done it better in a souped-up hovercraft. Are you paying attention down there? We're with you, youngster! Wow, I wish I was with them. That looks like a blast. <gasps> no offense, pal. It's just the young star's incredible. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet, lad. What's this? Over. Look, Serena, no hands. Impressive, young star. Wow, look at him go. Cool. But not too bright. We haven't completed stress testing those new saddles, young star. Ah, oh, don't be such a wet blanket, Arrow. I could stay up here all day. Whoa! Oh. Young Hang on, Hotshot, we've got you! Stick around, Young Star. We'll give you some real flying lessons. Young Star, that was amazing. Errol saved your life. He's the greatest, isn't he? Big deal. I could have done the same for him in half the time. I heard that, Young Star. But don't worry, you won't have to. I know what I'm doing. Uh-oh, what's that? Is that thing as big as it looks from up here? Bigger! That's the biggest pteranodon I've ever seen! Get a move on! This pteranodon is a real prize! This beast will make Krulos proud and the young star dead meat. Welcome, all of you, to Dino Riders Flight School. 
Now, the day may soon come when our best defense will be our air support. Aw, oh, Ace, I don't see why we're wasting our time with this fancy schmancy air stuff. Just give me a good solid Taurosaurus to strap my pants to. I'll make mincemeat out of those roulons. This flying stuff is for the birds. Gunner, we're not asking you to become a pilot, but a little familiarization with flight equipment and tactics just may come in handy someday. Gunner, why don't you give me a hand with this demonstration? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The saddles are designed to hold you securely. <laughs> Unless you're doing something dumb like flying upside down. Errol, I can fly the pants off you and you know it. That's not what I saw today. Arrow, young star, I think what Neutrino now has to say is of far more importance than your private discussion. Uh, the twin lasers mounted on each wing, coupled with the maneuverability of these birds, gives you the opportunity to get in, fire, and get out. It's a great combination. Yeah, well, I gotta hand it to you. Looks pretty good. <laughs> With these flying beasts under my control, the Dino Riders are doomed! I am losing patience with those sniveling Dino Riders. I have developed a plan, Lord Krulos. Allow me. An attack from two sides would surely leave the Dino Riders weak and confused. No, Rasp. I don't want the Dino Riders weak and confused. I want them... destroyed. And for that, I need to attack from the air. But, but for an air attack, we would need... Your Highness, I am pleased to report I have brain boxed the largest Pteranodon on the planet. He has untold power. Ah, excellent. You see, Rasp, Hammerhead brings me answers, not problems. You could take a lesson from Hammerhead. Rasp, is this mammoth Pteranodon armed? It is being done as we speak, my lord, but there is more. My men have scoured the planet. They've captured all the other Pteranodons we could find. Hammerhead, prepare your troops for a demonstration. I want to see what my new Air Force can do. Consider it done, Lord Krulos. Consider it done, Lord Krulos. <laughs> An impressive demonstration, Hammerhead. Impressive indeed. Keep an eye on Hammerhead and report his every move back to me. I'll not permit that leadhead to make me look foolish in front of Kronos. Yes, it's settled. Tonight we will attack the Dino Riders by air. Prepare for battle. Before the night is out, the Dino Riders will be no more. How's it going, lad? Oh, hi, Ace. My pterodactyl and I are going out to harvest some fruit from the trees. Our supplies are getting kind of low. Uh, Terry? Oh, great. Looks like you had quite a haul today. Ketz and I are going out to get in some target practice. Want to come along, Serena? Hold on, young star. You're supposed to help us make another run to the tar pits today. Boring. Maybe tomorrow. My target practice is a lot more important. Wrong, young star. The tar pit traps outside the compound are crucial to our defense against Krulos. They're almost done. We should finish them. Okay, have it your way. I can always go out later and rip up the sky. 
Last one of the tar pits is a rotten egg. Yeah! Who knows, old pal? Maybe we'll get lucky and surprise some slimy Rulon search party. Happy hunting, young star! Thanks! Thanks a lot! Hey, where's young star? He should have been here by now. Probably out playing on some thermal current. He'll catch up. <laughs> he always does. Well, there's work to do. Okay, let's fill them up. All of this for a lousy bucket. Wait, I got an idea. Got it! Okay, buddy, let's make up for lost time. Here we go! That's the way, fella. Easy now. Here's another load, Gunner. Real good, Serena. Well, if Krulos gets any wild ideas tonight, he's gonna find it very sticky going when he hits this tar. There must be no mistakes in our attack. We must make Hammerhead and his air armada seem useless tonight. Lord Krulos will realize that I am his superior weapon. And after I destroy Youngstar, the precious step crystal will be mine. One more load of tar will just about do it. Coming up, Gunner! It's about time you showed up, hotshot! What took you so long, young star? We were worried about you. Yeah, with all your fancy flying, you should have been here long ago. You want fancy flying? Stand back! Ketsuko Atlas and I'll park this tar right on target. No, young star! Don't try it! Look out below! Over, boy! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Great idea, young star. You really get into your work. <laughs> Come on, fella. We don't need to put up with this. All is ready, Lord Krulos, for your victory over the Dino Riders. Excellent. I will lead the ground forces myself. Hammerhead will lead the airstrike. You will assist him, Rasp. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. It is my wish, Rasp. And you can begin now! And it is my wish that you fall off your monstrous bird! If anyone's falling, Snake Face, it'll be you! We'll see. We'll see. I'd like to see Arrow do that, huh, fella? Hey, let's try a little low-level flying between the red rocks and the sulfur pools. Onward! We will crush the Dino Riders once and for all! Fella, looks like Krulos couldn't sleep tonight. We'd better warn the others. A Dino Rider! Shoot him down! Destroy him! It will be my pleasure, Lord Krulos. At last, youngster. This time there will be no escape. It's Hammerhead. I should have known. We'll have to take a detour. There's no place you can hide, youngster! Who's hiding, fish breath? Come and get me! Ah, you stupid fish <laughs> Well, ha 
Hammerhead ought to be more careful where he's flying. Now, let's see about getting back to camp before Krulos. Ah! <laughs> so long, Dino Rider! Forever! After these messages, we'll be right back. Harness the power, Dino Riders! The evil Rulon shackled the Dinonychus. Greybox on attack! They're sitting ducks! Heroic Quest Star on Diplodocus opens the secret pod. They're firing on me! Look out for the trap! Take this, Anhead! The hidden rockets blast the evil Rulon. We'll meet again, Quest Star! Diplodocus with motorized walking action. Dinonychus and Tyranidon. With figures and battle gear, each sold separately. Dino Riders! Lad. Serena may not be ready to fly with us. Boy, that sounds like a challenge, Arrow. Only if you want it to be. Okay, you're on, Flyboy. Serena, be careful. Don't worry, Grandfather. I'll be just fine. You don't sense trouble, do you, Mind's Eye? I'm not sure, Questa. Maybe it's nothing more than an old man's fear. Hmm. I don't believe that, my friend. Your feelings have a habit of coming true. This is only a nightmare. Ah, only one way out of this mess, Bella. Ah! The Dino Rider Cap is dead ahead. Attack! Attack! You're a natural, Serena. You fly like you and your Pteranodon are one. <laughs> we are! Look! Rulons! Questar! Dino Riders. Rulon attack! Man your battle stations! You may Sorry, Gunner, but we're drafting you. Yeah? Do I have a choice? There's your answer. Krulos is making this an air battle. Ah! Next time, pick on somebody your own size. Pretty fancy flying for a ground jockey. Thanks. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Now that was fancy flying and shooting. There's just too many of them! Don't think of their numbers, boy. Concentrate. Use the strength within you. I did it! I did it! Thank you, Mind's Eye. Just believe in yourself, my son. Serena, help! Down, Pteranodon! Ah! This guy just doesn't give up! Hold on, lad! Play dead, Pteranodon! Another Dino Rider bites the dust! You're safe now, lad! And so is my pterodactyl! Thanks, Serena! Victory is almost mine! I can taste it! And it will be all the sweet and knowing I destroy Quistar! Destroy him! Krulos, 
Maybe I should make things a bit sticky for them. Move to the tar pools, Doc. Hey, Prulos! Don't hide in the jungle like a coward! Face me! Coward? Watch your words, Questar! For you'll be eating them soon enough! Move, you stupid beast! Move! I will not lose this battle! <laughs> Krulos will never learn. Out of my way! What are your orders, almighty Krulos? Get the stuff! I will not leave here without it! Consider it done, Lord Krulos! Beware, Questar! I will have my vengeance! Move, you stupid animal! Move! Krista, I sense the step is in danger. I understand. Now, Hammerhead will see who wins Krulos' favor. I'll take that! No, the step must be mine! Not this time, Rulon! Ah! Mine! Finally, the crystal is mine! I'll die before I let you get away with the oh! step! Then prepare to die, Krista! Yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you, fish eyes! Ah! And you die too! Ah! <laughs> Your minuscule weapons are useless against my giant! Ah! Oh, go, Star! At your service, fish lips! This time, I will not fail to destroy you! Stay put, Longstar! Let me make your end quick and painless! A little teamwork might send Hammerhead and his monster packing! Count me in! Lost the step, Crystal! <laughs> and whose fault was that? Kulos will hear of your failure! You haven't won yet, Questar! I will return! Not bad flying, young star. You're pretty good yourself, Arrow. Gunner, how about joining the test pilots? We sure could use you. Yeah, thanks anyway. I'm sticking to four-legged dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, and leave the flying to the likes of him. Stay right there, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming up next.
<laughs> Gee, am I hungry? I could eat a saber-toothed tiger. Well, anyway, half a one. <laughs> well, this isn't getting me breakfast. Here, Fido. <laughs> You're cranky before breakfast, too. Be quiet! Mm. Yum, yummy. My favorite vegetable, duck. swimming, but I never get to do anything. Well, what are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Do something. Now go get it. The big lummox. Well, now isn't that clever? The hunter's helper. <laughs> now come on. for a guy that never took a lesson in his life. <laughs> Wait here. duck breakfast. Gee, I can hardly wait. Come on, Fido.
almost there. such a hot idea after all. Good night, folks. A world where only the strong survive. A world of Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Plenty of time to trade. As long as we're not there all night. We've got a big day tomorrow. I know. I just can't believe we're going to trade for ancient artifacts. In my city, that would never be allowed. Don't get your hopes up. Council gets first look at everything the moles dig up. They're only allowed to trade what Council doesn't want. We believe the ancients used it to attract game. Hey, Ferris, got any machinery or car parts? Mm, not this week, but I know someone who might. Follow me. Huh? Now this is more like it. Blueprints, ancient surveys. What's this? Cybercore Research Laboratory, official termination order, classified, top secret clearance only. Hey! That's not for trade! What the? What? Get, uh... All moles on the second shift report to the docks. Uh, I'm on the first shift. Where'd she go? Oh, hey! What's the hurry? Uh, uh I, I was just on my way home. It's been a busy day. I I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> What's she up to now? supposed to meet me here at 8. So where is she?
happened to the water? Uh -oh. Hey boy, take it easy. I know you're just protecting your water, but I really don't want any. What do you say, friends? Guess not. We need to talk. You! How did you find this place? I followed you from the market. Why? To return the document you stole? Not stole, borrowed. Not so fast! That belongs to Governor Scharnhorst. You'd better give it back before she finds out you've seen it. And I can see why she wouldn't like that. This document is about a laboratory of the ancients. Your voice down. We could be arrested for this. Something went wrong there, and the ancients had to seal the lab. Oh, I don't know anything about it. And if you know what's good for you, you'll forget all about this. Ferris! This document was stored in the vault as a warning for future generations. Us! The only way I could be holding it is if someone has found the lab. You got a problem with that? Talk to Governor Scharnhorst. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for work. So that's why the river's dried up. It's been dammed. Qua Hoon! The river's been dammed so they can dig. But why? so long. At this rate, the lab won't be fully excavated for weeks. We're digging as quickly as we can, Governor Scharnhorst, uh, but, but the ground is unstable. We must build supports. I'm not interested in excuses. I want results. Tell your moles to dig faster. Uh, yes, Governor Scharnhorst. Uh, Dr. Pheasanton, I brought the ancient plans you asked for. Fool! Do that inside. The lab. They have found it. And now <gasps> we've found you. After these messages, we'll be right back. Ride into the stars of adventure with Cadillac and Dinosaurs. My man Cadillac Jack, the only one who can save the dinosaurs from the hammer and his evil hunter. between the Dinosaur Hunters and Cadillac Jack never ends. Jack, Hammer, other figures, and dinosaurs sold separately. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs for Cadillac Jack Kenrex. The adventure is only beginning. Say goodbye, Jack! Our dinosaurs are gentle vegetarians. <laughs> It's Jurassic Park. A raptor grabs a baby dinosaur. Grant tears off in the bush devil tracker to save it. Use the snare! He's safe! Look out, Triceratops! But the young T-Rex wants a piece of the action. Dino damage! Can the dinosaurs be recaptured? Look for the JP mark. It's happening, but only at Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, bush devil tracker, dinosaurs and figures each sold separately.
Excuse me. Huh? Just dropping in. like the document said. Just get on with it. The RXB-14, CyberCore's prototype tunneling robot, designed to withstand earth tremors and toxic fumes. Ah, found it! The RXB-14 control unit. All I have to do is determine the startup codes. A mechanical mole that belongs to me. No more complaints about safety, food, or long hours. Able to dig wherever I want, whenever I tell it to. Governor Scheinhorst? What? Can't you see I'm busy? Ambassador Dundee. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. This excavation is off limits. Why? As ambassador, I have full access to city excavations. Unless there's something you wish to keep secret here? Of course not. As part of our agreement, I would be bound to share such information. Then I take it you have found no ancient technology? Or machines? There are no machines here. This was a meeting place for the ancients. Come off it, Sharnhorst. This lab was sealed by the ancients because something went wrong. It was not supposed to be reopened. This conversation is getting tedious. Guards! Escort Ambassador Dundee back to her quarters in the city. Where are you taking her? Back to the city. Governor Scharnhorst's orders. I'll take her for you. Ah! Wah! Nah, Jack? That's right. Tell everyone. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Forget about that. We have to get back to the lab. Sharnhorst is playing with dangerous ancient technology. I might have known. Come on. Hey, let go of me. Uh-uh, you're my prisoner, remember? what Sharnhorst was after. These robots were created to dig. Dig? But Sharnhorst has got the moles. Why does she need robots? Maybe to replace the moles. No! Machines could never replace the moles! Sharnhorst needs us! One of the robots! Looks like
looks like it's executing some sort of program. Wahoo! It's activating the others! After these messages, we'll be right back. The Dino Rider is spotted by the evil robots. Don't take this, young star! You need glasses, Hammerhead! Pick on someone your own size, big eyes! The Rulons on their Triceratops aim their lasers. I'll distract them! Quickly turret from his Styracosaurus fires. Eat rocks, Rulons! Triceratops with motorized walking action. Styracosaurus and Quetzalcoatlus with figures and battle gear, each sold separately. Dino Riders! We were hunting dinosaurs, but we became the prey! Lost World Jurassic Park. We were pursuing a parasaur when the dino cycle suffered dino damage. And we were surrounded by screaming raptors. The raptors were all over us. We activated our glide packs to escape, but a pteranodon canceled our flight. Something has survived. Will you? The Lost World Jurassic Park. Look for the mark of Jurassic Park figures and vehicles each sold separately. search of dinosaurs, but we bit off more than we could chew. The Lost World Jurassic Park. We were tracking raptors in our ground tracker when our searchlights discovered a giant stegosaurus. We pegged the steg with the train cannon, then restrained it. That's when it all went bad. Look out! The stego broke free, and a giant ram head crashed the track. Dino strike! Something has survived. Will you? The Lost World Jurassic Park. Look for the mark of Jurassic Park figures and vehicles each sold separately. Make that robots. They must be malfunctioning. They're out of control. This is why the ancients sealed the lab. Walls, or the lab will collapse! How am I supposed to do that? Ask them one at a time? Jack, if we destroy the first robot, it might deactivate the others. What do you mean, we? has betrayed the moles. She had us uncover the lab so she could replace us with robots. But I'm not going to let her do that. Unfortunately, Ferris, you don't have a say in the matter. Ah! Let him go. We'll deal with the moles later. It's the robots you should be worried about. The ancients were right. This lab must be resealed. Why? I see no reason to close it down. I see a couple of hundred. What's going on? The robots have reactivated themselves. Destroy them, Scharnhorst! No! There must be another way. We could try to shut them down using their control boxes. You heard him do it! Look out! <laughs> Any 
Any more dumb ideas? Won't hold them for long. Somebody stop the robots before they destroy the lab. As you wish, Governor Sharnhorst. <gasps> no! Don't do it! Now! What are you waiting for? Run! Ah! <coughs> My lab! How dare you! You've destroyed my lab! We had to protect ourselves. You were going to replace us with robots. And I still plan to. Dig! All of you, dig! You may have destroyed the robots, but the technology that created them still exists! We'll see about that. Henrik, where are you going? Henrik, I'm talking to you! Get back here! The dam! Stop him! Stop him, you fools! Taking care of the robots, my way. Everyone, clear the area! The dam's coming down! <gasps> it's showtime! Sharnhorst had her way. She wants technology at any cost. Like the moles and, and changing their way of life forever. Or damming up the Slither's water. <laughs> Sophisticated technology can be a dangerous thing in the wrong hands. It's history repeating itself.
another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. What's wrong with this picture? Dinosaurs and humans never lived at the same time. Yeah, all right. This is a cast of a myosaur egg. This is the femur of a three-foot-long myosaur. And this is the femur of an adult myosaur. It was about 30 feet long. My name is Rebecca Law. Basically, I spend my summers digging up dinosaur bones. I used to want to be a veterinarian and switched over to dead animals, essentially. This is a baby myosaur skull. It's from a dinosaur that was about three feet long. And this is a skull, a cast of a skull from an adult myosaur, a herb of, herb of, <laughs> <laughs> Paleontology is important because we're able to reconstruct past ecosystems and environments. And by doing that, we can compare them to our environment today and help us understand what's going on with our ecosystem and maybe ways we can improve it. Advancing biologically takes more than just a thought. Some species have changed over time and others they have not. Evolving seems like such a pain. Sometimes you want to go where everything has stayed the same. And non seed plants have all remained. You want a place where major traits have largely gone unchanged. You want a place where everything has stayed the same. Say, did you ever wonder what the world would be like if the dinosaurs were still alive? Sure you do. We all do. I know I do. In fact, that's all I think about. What kind of dinosaur would I be? I think I would be a brachiosaurus. Like just the other day, I was buying a new car, and I thought, what would it be like if this car salesman were a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Would he still give me the same deal? <laughs> I doubt it. Hey, there's a thought. You could hire a dinosaur to put a swimming pool in your backyard. All you'd have to do is show up for five minutes, whop, instant swimming pool. Just get a tile guy in there, bam. It'd be a great world. <laughs> I doubt it. You know, speaking of dinosaurs, did you realize that chickens were a lot like little dinosaurs with feathers? I didn't. So I read a book called The Dinosaur Chicken Conspiracy. But apparently the poultry farmers don't want us to know anything about it. So they've hushed it up. Put the kibosh on it. Ferns will return after these messages. No, wait, no, I'm not finished yet. I... Yeah, all right, go ahead. No, I was going to talk about the dinosaurs and uh -huh. the potential growth of the garment industry if right. they were still alive. Sure. I mean, anybody could figure that out. Mm -hmm. How much tweed do you have to... Ferns will return after these messages. Here's a way to see how footprints can tell you things about who and what made them. We're going to be doing this with butcher paper and paint, because it's messy. Yeah. Nicely done. Now I'll step into the blue paint and run. Yellow. Popping pink. Now I'm going to do my feet and hands. And if you do a comparison, it's pretty easy to see the different kinds of prints go with different kinds of moving. And that goes for dinosaur prints, too. You know, I think this would look really cool hanging on the wall. That's funny. I was thinking the same thing. What's wrong with this picture? I told you, dinosaurs and humans never lived at the same time. Hi, I'm Robin Leach. Thanks to modern technology, we can gather ideas about the lifestyles of our dearly departed dinosaur friends while their majestic homes were maintained on luscious landscapes with spectacular streams and gigantic gardens of plenty. we can safely assume that no dinosaur danced and sang the way that is commonly portrayed on television. Perhaps in another million years or so, we too shall be looked upon with the same sense of wonder and astonishment. I thank you for joining me, and until we meet again, here's wishing you fossilized wishes and... Dinosaur dreams. Now, how do we know that dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago? Well, sometimes we find dinosaur fossils buried under ash that got blasted out of ancient volcanoes. It often contains the element potassium, and some of that potassium is radioactive, so it slowly changes into a whole other element, argon. 
Now, scientists know exactly how fast this happens. So by measuring the amount of potassium and the amount of argon in the ash around these fossils, they can figure out when the ash came out and buried the bones. We've never found ancient dinosaur fossils less than 65 million years old, so they must have died out 65 million years ago! Yo, Joe! We'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra the enemy. Fighting to save the day. He never gives up, he's always there. Fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Okay. Joe! G.I. Joe is there! G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. Some he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. So how old are these bones, Doc? About 70 million years, give or take a few. I've never seen Upper Cretaceous specimens like this before. The oil kept them from being fossilized. If you say so. A bone's a bone, as far as I can tell. What's that? Probably another government official looking for a bribe. Wild Weasel to Cobra Base. The bones are ours. I thought we paid everybody off. We did. Scatter, swine. Look like no government official to me. He must be a collector. They're desperate men. <coughs> Strange. A true collector would have taken the Deinonychus feet. They're much rarer. Plan A is complete. Uh, sorry about the jawbone, Governor. There are more where those came from. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, we will know whether we have accomplished a scientific miracle or squandered our investors' resources. <laughs> if this egg, cloned from a single cell of a garter snake, hatches, our project is a success. Signal from Roberts received. Proceed with Plan B. Here it is, gentlemen. A perfect living reproduction of the original snake. That's great. That's great. Congratulations, Dr. Massey. From Cobra! What the hell is going on? Come on, come on. Unhand me! What I don't get is, why is Cobra stealing dinosaur bones and old scientists? Maybe everyone else is too tough for them. The two raids must be connected. They are. Intelligence believes that Cobra has a base in the South Pacific where they plan to clone dinosaurs. <laughs> That's impossible. Cobra has an irritating habit of doing the impossible. So what if they clone the bone? It'll be 30 years before the dinos grow up, and we'll be retired by then. Wrong! Dr. Massey has also made significant breakthroughs on a rapid growth catalyst. Now you mind repeating that in English? Sure. The dinosaur clones will grow to full size less than 24 hours after hatching. Whoa, instant monster. We've got to find Dr. Massey before his dinosaurs find us. Deep Six to headquarters. Flint here. I spotted something weird, an island that's not on the map. Impossible. The entire Earth's been mapped. Well, something's wrong. Either my eyes or their map. Uh-oh. I got company. Cobra Rattler. We'll be out there with Sky Strikers before you can see. Roger and out. The 
planet was once ruled by reptiles. Soon it will be again. This time by reptiles known as Cobra. Look about you and savor the beauty, Destro. I see no beauty in this bug-infested swamp. Nor do I see any wisdom in your plan. You will, Destro. Very soon. Thanks to a few items... We picked up, namely... These dinosaur bones. And one slightly used scientific genius... In, in a, a disposable, disposable container. container. <laughs> Each bone fragment has enough cells to clone an infinite number of living dinosaurs. Therefore, I suggest you begin now. Infinity is a very big number. According to Deep Six, the island is just ahead. He said it looked weird, so this must be the place. Uh, it seems we have uninvited guests. Look for an open spot to land. After these messages. After these messages, we'll be right back. Imagine this! Deep in the jungle, you discover it. The Cobra Terradrome with gun emplacements almost everywhere and special base for refueling vehicles. There it is! The Cobra Terradrome is really incredible. That's Dr. Mindbender! And now, look! They've captured Flynn! It's time to warn the Joes, but suddenly they launch the Firebat. Live the adventure of G.I. Joe. Cobra Terradrome comes with Firebat and Pilot. Other figures and equipment sold separately. Yo, Joe! Now, back to G.I. Joe. So did I. What now? We carry on. Flint! Anybody got an aspirin? No survivors here. Let's check the other wrecks. Two ways about it. We've got to call in an airstrike. How loud can you yell? Plenty loud. Good, because we don't have a radio. She's right. We'll have to take out the fortress on our own. Good. I was afraid we wouldn't have anything to do today. Yes. Well, uh, I have injected the genetic material into the eggs along with ultra-growth protein and... Uh, Doctor, look! Uh, such creatures have not been seen on Earth for millions of years! I'm so hungry, even our food packets are looking good. Don't eat, gung ho. We've got to conserve food. Who knows how long we'll be here. Great. Next you'll be telling me we can't sleep. Well, if you want to bunk out in this oozing swamp, be my guest. All right, but I've got some primal urges to satisfy. And the top two on my list are food and shelter. What are you complaining about, Gung-Ho? I thought this place would remind you of home. 
It does. Now you know why I left. Drain the tank! Alright, Destro. As usual, your plans are useless without the addition of my genius. Controlling such primitive brains hardly requires genius, Destro. Then perhaps you would like to take over this phase of the project, my dear Commander. No, Destro. I would not deprive you of your brief moment of glory. My triumph shall come soon enough. I wonder if they know we're here. Not unless the rumblings of my stomach have given us away. I don't even know where we are. How do we know we're not going around in circles? We don't. Well, I'll be. If that isn't the luck of the Irish. Yeah, but I'm not Irish. And that place definitely is not kosher. What's that? Let's pretend it's the wind. You overgrown iguanas! Let's move it! Your crimson guardsmen are either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid, Destro. Fear neither. They just have an unusual idea of, of how, how to, to have, have a good, good time. time. With these dinosaurs under my command, I will control them. Save the pompous chatter for later, Commander. I must concentrate. Their brains must be made receptive to control. the cybernetic control disk. Dinosaurs, do my bidding! Stifle yourselves! Suffering serpents, it works! If Cobra's got Dr. Massey in there, I hope he's not about to become a dinosaur dinner. Dinner? He'd only be an appetizer. Could we stop talking about food, please? It seems the intruders are somewhat more alive than we thought. Then release the dinosaurs. But you must feed them first. Feed them? <laughs> that is exactly what I plan to do! <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to climb this rock to get to those cobra clods. What's going on? G.I. Joe will return after these messages. After these messages, we'll be right back. Joke is back! We'll stop Cobra with Tiger Force, the roughest, toughest jump force ever! Get those captured Cobra vehicles repainted and re -armed. They're part of Tiger Force now! Tiger Force, showing the colors yellow and black! Hungry to fight and ready to attack! No fighting, G.I. Joe! Tiger Shark is ready! Tiger Force, attack! Nobody beats the Tiger Force! Tiger Force! Vehicles and figures sold separately. Now, back to G.I. Joe. You think that gun's gonna do any good? I'll try anything once. Great, now you've made him angry. That's too bad. I bet he's a real charmer on good days. Hey, let me handle this character. I grew up wrestling gators. <laughs> uh, would you believe chameleons? <laughs> Thank you. 
It's the one called Gum Ho. Dinosaur, attack and destroy him. Come on, at least act like it hurts. Dinosaurs were stupid. They just don't make them like they used to. Somebody's watching us on TV. Yeah, well, the show's over. We lost them. How can I direct the dinosaurs if I can't see where they are? That did the trick. Somebody must be guiding them. I wonder who that might be. We'll have to use the dinosaur's instincts. Perhaps that will help us understand why they became extinct. <laughs> you will see, Destro. What's this? You are wasting company time. You should be tracking the Joes in case the dinosaurs fail. How about after our break, Destro? We're union, you know. Move it now! Yes, yes. right away, sir. So big. Looks like the dinosaurs are doing the job for us. I didn't know they made little ones. Dig G.I. Joe meat. He's looking for something to eat. He wants the food packet. <sighs> Looks like I'm not the only one with primal urges. Those urges might just get us out of here. Scarlet, what are you doing? Chow down, fellas. Here's your dinner. Watch it. You're going to be their dinner. No way. Given their choice, animals always go for real food. Humans taste terrible. Well, that's good to hear. Go fetch, boys! Ah, that's a strange-looking weapon. Retreat! Retreat! Two birds with one stone. Let's see what Cobra left behind. Yeah, this should come in real handy. Your mind control device has failed, Destro! No mind control device can override the need for food! He is right, sir! Then perhaps I should feed both of you to them! <laughs> You two grab Dr. Massey. I'll prepare a little surprise for Cobra. You got it. Dinosaurs! Destroy the G.I. Joes! No! No! I won't let this go any further! Quiet, Doctor, before I remember that your usefulness is nearly at an end! should be feasting on the Joes by now. Yo, Joe! Terminate them! Get the commander's disc! <laughs> Give me! Off me, moron! Give me the disc! Uh, gun 
gun ho. Uh, yeah. Tell me, Joe, what would you have done if you had gotten the disc? You could never have used the dinosaurs to attack us. This fortress is impregnable from below. Well, we didn't figure on bringing the dinosaurs to the fortress. We figured on bringing the fortress to the dinosaurs. Attack Fortress! Dr. Massey, talk to them! What should I say? Tell them there's food up here! D -d Dinosaurs! There is food up here! There is food up here! What are we going to do with these dinosaurs? Perhaps we could open a museum. My investors... Can suck eggs as far as I'm concerned. The dinosaurs are staying and we're leaving. Unless, of course, you want to stick around. Any questions? Yeah! Where's the grub? Over there. But you may have to share some with your friends. Move over, boys! I'm famished! <laughs> Stay tuned, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way.
used to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaurs. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space, and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them! Not what you do, but what I do. What do you guys think of that move, huh? <laughs> yeah, great move, David. This wrestling is wonderful. Yeah, but maybe you could make one more move, like a little to your right. You're standing on my claw. Oops. Sorry about that. You see, that's all there is to wrestling. No matter how big your opponent is, you can use their size against them and still body slam them to the ground. Oh, you mean like that? Mm. Oh. I think you've got the picture, Bonehead. Well, I've had enough of this. Hey, where you going? To this great new movie. It's supposed to be really hot. Ooh, it doesn't feel hot to me. You know, Bonehead, Sometimes, you're a real bonehead. I'll catch you guys later. Don't you want your movie? That's not the movie, it's a newspaper. It's just an ad for the movie. Let's see. Want it, huh? Want it, babysitter. Bonehead, why do they sit on babies? Beats me. Wow, Stego, look at this! A real dinosaur show at Worldwide Studios! Hey, let's tell the others and go check it out! I got a better idea. Let's go ourselves and not tell anyone. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no way! Maybe we can make friends with these dinosaurs and score some points with Elo. No way! B -b -b by ourselves? Well, well, what if they're not friendly? Then we'll just do like David said and teach them about body slams. <laughs> Worldwide Studios, here we come! And Kylo, I want no clowning around on this scouting mission. You got it, Chief Asaur. Don't call me Chief! Was close. Oh, hey, did you see that? S -s see what? I, I didn't s -s see anything. You mean you didn't see a UFO with a giant warthog flying it? No, and you didn't either. Huh? What's that? Oh, the Bosasaurus is gonna love this. A dinosaur show. <laughs> I must inform Genghis Rex of this. And Kylo to Tar Pits too. Come in. What's your news, and Kylo? I've just discovered dinosaurs in a place called Worldwide Studios. Good job, and Kylo. These dinosaurs could be very useful to us. We must contact them and make them our allies. But your scaliness, what if they don't like us? Then we'll dino nap them. We must get them out of the hands of humans. There it is, Bonehead. Worldwide Studios. Looks deserted. Take it down. Where should we land? 
by the side of that place. That's strange. This lake doesn't have any plants. No, but it has something else. Did you see something move, Stego? Wow! Wow! wow. Stego, get back here! Help! Help! Whoa! I think he wants to be friends! Which friends like this? Stego, I think your plates were giving him dinosaurs. There he is again. Let's get out of here. Now, if you were a dinosaur, where would you hide? I am a dinosaur. Hey, maybe they're through one of those doors. Okay, let's try this one. What's all this stuff? Mammal suits, I guess. What do you think? I think it'd look better on Terex. Five minutes, gentlemen. I guess our time is up. She wasn't some kind of dinosaur. Nah, she looked more like one of those mud monsters back home. Yeah, you're right, she was pretty ugly. Hey, maybe they're in that wax museum. Yeah, there's always dinosaurs in museums. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. But we gotta find those dinosaurs. You go that way, then I'll check over here. <laughs> it's scary in here. Go on. B -b -b Bonehead, is that you? Oh! Ah! Help! Oh! Ah! Oh, what was that all about? It almost got me. It what? It was this big. It had claws. It had nasty, sharp, pointy teeth. It attacked me. That's okay. Nothing's gonna hurt you. I'm with you. Uh, I'm tired, and I want to go home. <laughs> we'll never find those dinosaurs. Hey, let's take a rest in that cave over there. Oh, I can't see a thing in here. Hey, I think I feel some kind of switch. Hi, guys. Nice day, huh? Oh, oh. 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 oh, that must be a wrestling move David didn't tell us about. That looks like a safe place to land, Genghis Rex. I don't see any mammals anywhere. <laughs> Let's go this way. Ignorant mammals are shooting at us! Get them! What's wrong, Bossasaur? These guys won't fall down! They're fakes! Just cardboard cutouts! I'll fix them! I'll deal with you later! Let's go, Ankylo! The dinosaurs are that way!
Time for the rest of your wrestling lesson! Hmm, that's strange. Bonehead and Stego, both gone? Where could they be? I wonder if this could have anything to do with why they're missing. Oh, no! Now they must have gone to Worldwide Studios thinking these dinosaurs were real. Nah, they wouldn't. Oh, yes, they would! Jeez! And Allo thinks we're a little slow. Take a look at these guys! Hey! These dinos are fake! And we broke them! Alan's gonna be mad! Especially when he finds out we snuck out a lava dome for nothing! You okay? Yeah, I guess so. But we better pick this thing up. <laughs> Uh-oh, let's get out of here. Except that we can! We're trapped! We're, we're, we're human! After these messages, we'll be right back. Es el centro de comando de Jurassic Park. Todo está fuera de control. Tiene más de 100 comandos electrónicos. Hay que restablecer la seguridad. ¡Sabía daño! ¡Espera, Rick! ¡Lo tenemos! ¡Eh! Es el centro de comando. Si no es de Jurassic Park. Once upon a time, a baby dinosaur was born. Now all this prehistoric fun is yours with talking baby dinosaur. Baby dinosaur has six clever things to say. Collect the entire Sinclair family. Earl, Frank. And a baby. Robbie, Charlene. And a baby. Yes, and a baby too. Even Big B. Richfield. Official talking baby and dinosaur figures sold separately. Here in Jurassic Park, what you fantasy werkelijkheid of a nachtmerk. Jurassic Park. Van een Venusuraptor echt sleept. En de Tyrannosaurus Rex stamt. En brult. Hij gaat de helikopter. Vraag naar de echte dinosaurus en voertuigen en actiefiguren van Jurassic Park. And over here we have our dinosaur caves. And look, there's two of them now. But beware and hold tight. They're ferocious. What do we do now? Act like a dinosaur. <laughs> They ugly. Yeah, you call them ferocious. We're ugly. You should talk, you tailless little. Forget about them. Now's our chance. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> My throat's killing me from all that roaring. <laughs> oh no. Check this out. Here we go again. <laughs> could have at least got my good side. Can I give the nice dinosaur my ice cream, Mommy? That's very nice of you, dear. It's always good to share. Here, Mr. Dinosaur. Oh, no. Are you okay? I guess so. I just wish it was seaweed ripple. Huh? Hey, doesn't that actor remind you of your mother? <laughs> You call that a makeup job? I do a better job than that with my eyes closed. <laughs> Look at this ear. Ah! The rubber is the cheapest I've ever seen. Ow! And this nose. For what they pay actors these days, you should be able to afford something better. Hey! Stop it! Ow! Rex, what should I do? Ignore the pompous mammals. We don't want to blow our cover. Just go along with them. Get this thing off of me! I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> what do we do now, Bonehead? This place is too crowded to make them run for it. 
I got an idea. Let's put those fake dinosaurs back on the tracks, then hide inside the cave till the studio closes. Too bad these things don't have handles. <laughs> you can say that again. Too bad these things don't have... <laughs> For an extinct life form, these things pack a wallop. Yeah, well, let's get them back on the tracks. <laughs> these guys could really stand to lose a few pounds. There they are, oh lord of the Tyrannos. Finally, my domination of this wretched planet can begin. Watch how a true leader of Saurians converts a follower to his cause. Greetings, noble dinosaur survivor. You must come with us. We need you to help us rule the Earth. Come back, you ungrateful lizard! Come back when Genghis Rex the Magnificent speaks to you! <laughs> Look, Mom, that cute dinosaur almost stomped that ugly one. You boorish mammal! How dare you laugh at me! It's Rex and Ankylo. What should we do? We've got to do what Allo would do. We must protect the humans. But how? We don't have any weapons. We've got your plates and spikes and my bonehead. It's just gonna have to do. Come on. It's the Dinosaurs! Where? After them! It's that numbskull bonehead and his frady sore friend, Stego! I've been waiting for this for a long time. Well, well, well what do we do now? Uh, running away sounds awful good. Hey, this tree is a fake! And so are these rocks! Those guys over in special effects are something else. Yeah, they're a real blast. Bonehead, let's get him with some of those moves David taught us. Great idea. So, you dare to meet me face to face? Yeah, so prepare to meet the ground. Uh, oh, oh. I seem to have missed something in the lesson. Wow! Yeah. That'll teach you to lay claws on the Lord of the Tyrannos! I wish I'd have stayed in bed. Here, Aunt Kylo, have a nice trip! Oh, oh whoopee! Oh. Take that, you overgrown Warthogosaurus! It's the fakes! Get off me, you egg brain! Hey, this is beautiful. Hey, this is great. I can show you your old baby wax you seem. And now that big ugly dinosaur is going to try and stomp on the little cute one. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't in my tour guide handbook. Oh well. There must be something new they added to the attraction. Quiet, you silly mammal. That's it! Put me down! Insults were not in my job agreement! Hey! Stop that! Where did you go? Get this off of me! I can't see! Oh! Mammal, come back here and fight like a... Dinah. <laughs> I've had enough of this nonsense. In about a second, you're all going to be fossil. What a show. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, this is even better than Monday Night Football. We've got to do something. We can't let him hate the humans. 
They don't deserve to be fought so long. Neither do we. Yeah, but at least they'll have a chance to get away. Use your plates to protect them. It was nice knowing your bone head. Yes, they go. See you in the museum. Hold that pose, Wimposaurs. I want to remember you just like that. Ah, sweet victory. Yeah! Woo! What? No, not another mammal! Tyrannos, you've lost this battle. When are you going to realize the good guys always win? We can't capture you and take you back to Reptilon for justice this time. These innocent people might get hurt, but next time, we will. You've won this battle, but the war will rage on, and the Tyrannos will triumph! And Kylo, this is all your fault. When I get my claws on you... Uh, sorry, Cheeposaurus. And don't call me Cheeposaurus. It is sorry, <laughs> Hey, take off your costumes. We want to see what you look like under there. Sorry, kids. Uh, break time. The actors got to eat. Union rules, you know. Yeah, sure. Come on, you guys. Let's get back to Lava Dome before Aloe notices you're gone. You, you said, said it. it. Yeah. yeah. Boy, wasn't that dinosaur show great? Oh, actors are so neat. Ah, they wouldn't even take off their costumes, the phonies. Did, Did you, you see, see what, what I saw? Well, I hope you guys learn your lesson. I sure did. I'm never gonna sneak out of Lava Dome without permission again. And neither is Stego. Well, Stego, but I want to go back there every now and then. What for? Well, hey, I mean, now that I've gotten a taste of it, I can't give up show business. Another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. My name is David Smith. I'm a Park Service Ranger, and you're at a National Park Service site named Dinosaur National Monument. I imagine most of you came here to check out dinosaurs. We know absolutely nothing about dinosaurs and their lifestyles. The only way we could actually find out about these things would be if we could go back in time. And I think we can do that today. Can you help me? And you two up on the rocks, can you help me? Has anyone here ever been a dinosaur? I need you to become dinosaurs. I need you to use your imaginations to show me what you think dinosaurs would do. Understand? Okay. And I want you to remember that some dinosaurs walk on four legs. Some dinosaurs walk on two legs. Some dinosaurs wrestle all the time. Some dinosaurs eat all the time. Some dinosaurs probably even howled at the moon. Okay, dinosaurs, do your stuff. Move about. Move about. Come on, move. Okay, what, what can we see by studying these dinosaurs? I'm noticing some aggression right away between the males. Lots of aggression between the males. The females seem to be fleeing the area. Now, notice the colors on this dinosaur right here. This, this camouflage color. Notice that this animal's duck bill is detachable. It comes on and off. Well, why did all these animals die here all at the same time? Could it possibly have been because of a large seasonal flood that came through and washed the dinosaurs away, killing them, killing all the dinosaurs? <laughs> So, where are you taking me? Oh, we're just gonna go for a walk, check some things out. 
So can anybody become a paleontologist? Anybody can become a paleontologist. All you've got to do is have an interest in studying old life forms. Think about it. Diplodocus, bigger than 100 feet long. It's hard to imagine an animal that long today. We also found animals here that are, you could hold my hand. Dinosaurs this big, baby dinosaurs. Stegosaurus was there, Allosaurus was showing up, Ceratosaurus, these are all animals that lived at the same time. Now people say, why study dinosaurs? Why study dinosaurs? Are you kidding? They lived, what, in an ecosystem? That's right, dinosaurs had their own ecosystem. That's right, dinosaurs had their own ecosystem. Do you know, didn't mean they were like animals. And what happened to them? Nobody knows. They're all gone. Their ecosystem has changed completely. <laughs> Now, how do we know about dinosaurs and dino ecosystems? We dug it up. What, 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 what's wrong with this pic pic picture? Remember, dinosaurs and humans never lived at the same time. Got it? Yeah, all right. Good evening, sports fans. Timmy Tucker here with Lance Yardstick for what has to be the biggest game of all time, the terrestrial surface dwellers versus the march of time. And this is the one we've all been waiting for. That's right, Timmy. What we're about to witness is the culmination of 4.6 billion years of preparation. And there's the start of the game, and the march of time is kicking off, and Og Simpson catches the ball on the zero-yard line. You know, Timmy, if the history of the Earth were laid out on a football field like a timeline, the zero-yard line would be when Earth began about 4.6 billion years ago. That's right, Lance, a very long time ago indeed, and Simpson is breaking the ball down to the 20-yard line now. The 20-yard line, that would be when primitive life forms began appearing on Earth about three and a half billion years ago. Simpson crosses the 50 now, 45, 40, 35, 30, he's getting close now, 25, he's on the 20-yard line. By the way, the 20-yard line, that would be when land plants and fish appeared on the Earth about 425 million years ago. Simpson is now drawing a crowd at the 10-yard line. That there, that's only two 225 million years ago, about when the dinosaurs appeared. He's down to the nine now, the eight, the seven. 65 million years ago, more or less when the dinosaurs became extinct. Five, four, three, two, touch the fumble! Wait a minute, wait a minute, what happened down there? Was it a touchdown or not? The officials are measuring now. Let's take a closer look now with the Magna Cam. It looks like that fumble occurred within the one yard line. Actually, about the three-quarter inch line, or the two-centimeter line. That's when human beings finally showed up on the planet only about a million years ago. Not really very long ago in Earth's history, Lance. Now, wait a minute. They say they need an even closer measurement now, so let's go down and look at this with the microcam. That looks to be about half a thousandth of an inch, or 13 micrometers, or one tissue paper's width from the goal line. And on the other side of that piece of tissue paper, an almost unmeasurable distance, two-thirds of one micrometer. That's where Bill Nye was born. Who's Bill Nye? This is a dinosaur, and this is a dinosaur too. Creatures that led the wild back, you see, a long time before me and you. They were big, and they were scaly, and there were thousands all over the place. But keep in mind, that was a long time before buildings and cars in the human race, Mr. Dino. Mr. Dino. Yeah. This rap's about dinos, man, who were extinct and have been for years. It's only because of fossils, see, that we even know they were here. Fossils are things you can dig, you know, like bones and rocks and such. And there aren't that many in the hard to find, but when we do, they tell us so, so much about Mr. Dino. Mr. Dino. Yeah. Well, that's our show. If you'll excuse me. Got some serious bones to pick. Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. Well, that's our show. Remember, hey, dinosaurs. Well, that's our show. Remember, hey. Ready? Hey, we know dinosaurs once lived because we found their fossilized bones. We, humans, were came along. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, that's our show. Well, that's our show. Remember, A, dinosaurs once lived. No, we're sorry, sorry. A, we know that dinosaurs once lived because we found their fossilized bones. We dug them up. And B, 
humans came along long after dinosaurs died out. They lived a long time ago, long before us. Well, if you excuse me, I've got some serious bones to pick. See you around the dig. Bam, 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 bam. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers, robots in disguise. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers. Decepticons are behind these shakeups, Optimus Prime. You know how that junk punk rumble likes to make earthquakes. The tremors are strongest over here, Ironhide. Let me check it out, Spike. If Decepticons are burrowing behind that rock, my sonodar sensors will sniff them out. No Decepti creeps, but there is something weird in there. Get your pistons pumping, Sideswipe. Let's clean up this mess. Hey, there's a cavern in there. Well, I'll be a Cybertronic bolt bat. What are they? Feels like stone, but they look like the bones of some giant creature. They're the fossilized bones of dinosaurs, animals that ruled Earth millions of years ago. Dinosaurs, eh? They must have been ugly suckers. I'd sure like to know more about them. As would I. Perhaps Spike would be willing to continue our dinosaur education. As long as the water goes over the Great Falls, the generators will keep producing electrical energy. Data gathering complete, Reflector. Then let's go, Soundwave. Megatron awaits our report. This is exciting, Spike. I've never been to a museum. Careful, don't bump your head. Wow, man, that's what I call heavy metal. There, why don't you get some holograms of those babies? The Brontosaurus, then the Triceratops, and finally the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That one's a walking fang factory. Very impressive. There they are, guys. Dinosaurs. Not very intelligent because of their tiny brains, but extremely powerful. If only we had some dinosaurs working for us. They'd really shake up the Decepticons. Hmm. I'm with you, Wheeljack. We could build robot versions of those oversized iguanas if it was okay with Optimus Prime. Robot dinosaurs might be useful. You have my authorization. It'll never work. Big waste of time. to vanquish the Autobots and control the universe forever. I suppose you've devised a brilliant plan for seizing it, eh, leader? Affirmative, Starscream. We attack the falls at once. Decepticons, 
Prepare for conquest! And now, fellow Autobots, and especially Optimus Prime, it gives me great pleasure to present... Will you get to the point? Autobots, meet Dinobots. Look at the size of those things. Great Cybertrons. Holy Hectrodyne. Allow me to introduce Grimlock, Slag, and Sludge. Dinobots, huh? I thought you were supposed to make dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinobots, transform! Interesting. But what else can they do? Dinobots, clear this rubble! And be quick about it! The Dinobots have simple brains, just like real dinosaurs. But nobody's perfect. However, we're working on improving their... Huh? They got haywire. We have to stop these Dinobots before they create a catastrophe. Yeah. Control room! Maybe I can slow him down. You'll need help! Spike! Transformers will return after these messages. After these messages, we'll be right back. Now, the heroic Autobots have created the Dinobots. Slang, Sludge, Snarl, Grimlock, a brave prehistoric breed. Evil Decepticons! Dinobots, Transformers! Transformers, robots in disguise. Somehow the Dinobots must stop the evil Decepticons. They must save Earth. Transformers. Robots in disguise from Hasbro. We now return to the Transformers. Oh no! Poor Teletran 1. Okay, little buddy. Any major damage? Oh, I just popped a few gaskets, Ratchet. Come on, Grimlock! Try sniffing that bug! There goes an Autobot with guts. Stand back, kid. I've got work to do. That's smart! <laughs> Must be getting old, Ironhide. What you need is a force field. Hey, not the face, okay? Just had a chrome. Doesn't anything get to this guy? <laughs> Dinobots must be destroyed! Wait! 
Maybe my magnetic inducer can stop them. <laughs> But I beg you, Optimus, please, don't make me pull the plug on him. I'm sorry, Wheeljack. The Dinobots must never be activated again. They're too dangerous. Shutting down the generators. We need help in a big way. Calling Teletran 1. Teletran 1? No response. Teletran 1, come in, please! Decepticon Domain! Until Teletran 1's operational again, it's up to us to check on Decepticon activity, Hound. I enjoy it, Spike. It gives me an excuse to do a little Earth-style sightseeing. Hold it. I'm picking up electronic signals. Could be Decepticons. I'll zero in on those signals and try to hologram their source. Decepticons, all right, at the Great Falls. Hound, calling Optimus Prime. Enemy sighted. Acknowledged, Hound. We'll meet you at the falls in 8,000 astroseconds. Autobots, transform! Not you, Bumblebee. Stay here and guard headquarters. Roll out! Starscream, I have already devised a warm reception for our foes, if they should be foolish enough to interfere. Is it much farther, Hound? Just up ahead, Spike, and it's Magna Spectacular. Detect any Decepticons? Maybe Hound's got glitch mice in his databanks again. <laughs> no, we're in the right place. Those electronic signals are stronger than ever. Right you are, Autobot! Former warriors, take them! Shut up and fight! <laughs> 
fusion cannon! Ready, Rumble? Ready to shake! already have been terminated. Or maybe he just can't respond. We've got to try to save him and our friends. But we don't have enough Autobots to fight all those deceptive rats. But we do have something else. I've been working on a little research project. I designed these new memory components to upgrade the Dinobots' brains. They'll make them smarter and easier to control, I hope. But Optimus Prime decreed that the Dinobots must never be activated again. Any better ideas? We have to do this quickly before the Decepticons get wind of it. Okay, guys. Cross your transistors or something. Dinobots, awaken! Go! Save Autobot friends. Save our leader, Optimus Prime. Do you understand? Uh, save friends. Uh, save leader. Uh, maybe we should. We do as told for now. Don't stress your secretary. You'll never break those energon chains in your weakened condition! Prepare for terminal meltdown. Decepticons! Ready? Aim! What are those? It's one's friends. Ones with face like this. Uh, I think that good enough for Slag! You're supposed to know everything. What are those? Scrap metal. Once we finish with them. Speaking of scrap, Megatron, try this on for size. The shells, my equilibrium, destabilized. Megatron has fallen. I, Starscream, am now your leader. Decepticons, follow me. <laughs> But I hope this burns you up! If I'm Decepticon Tef, you happen to tumble! Look out, robot, cause here comes Rumble! Oh! <laughs> 
Let's see. Sideswipe's flare gun should dry off your circuits, and Blue Streak's bolts will give you all an instant recharge. Okay, Optimus Prime, we admit we disobeyed your orders. And whatever punishment you have in mind, we deserve. But face it, Optimus Prime, if they obeyed your orders, you'd all be goners by now. Indeed. Sometimes even the wisest of men and machines can be in error. I have no reprimand for Wheeljack or Bumblebee, but as for the Dinobots, they have proven their value. The Dinobots shall remain among us. Yeah!
that you did. Because we got the toe munchers right here to pay the penalty for those who do not. No! And as usual, we have our artwork to share. Only today, the Izzle has a piece of art to show before we have our Max Squad artwork. My best friend made this for my birthday, and there's a note on the back of it, too. And we also have some lovely artwork from one of our Max Squad members. Let us show it to the world! And if you have some artwork to show the world, all you have to do is send it to us at smc.maxout at gmail.com. This is gmail.com. And make sure you max out that like button and go subscribe to KJ and the Yizzle. And make sure that you give a max smash and a like over there. Well, a max smash to the like and do a subscribe. You know what I'm talking about. You should just do what the lady says. Ignore me. And make sure that you head over to Friday Night Sucks to hang out with this guy from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Friday nights. We're showing all kinds of adult animation from the 90s and sketch comedy from the 90s. We're talking about the good stuff in living color, mad TV. We're doing some tenacious D, spicy city. There's all kinds of stuff ranging from HBO to MTV to Comedy Central, even Cartoon Network. So come on over and start hanging out with us over there too. Uh, me, hang out with me because it's only for the grown-ups. It's not for the yizzle age yizzles. And you know where to be every week from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's at Sunday time! And make sure you watch My Birthday Max at Sunday on regular Max Out hours. Which is 8 to 12, and there might also be a closer, so you gotta stick around for the closers. Like right now! Stick around for the closer that we have coming up next. It's American Gladiators! A new episode. Well, it's, it's new to some people. But it's definitely not new. It came out way back in the 90s. But hang out with us and watch it anyways. But for now, we're getting out. And we will see you next week right here on the only place for dinos, birthdays, Saturday mornings, and all that lovely stuff right here on Saturday Morning Cartoon Nexa. Science projects. Who needs them? What's the use? Everyone's just gonna laugh anyway. Nobody cares. He 
These are terrible ideas. This is getting me nowhere. Philip, do I need to call your father? Turn off the music and go to bed. Mom, I already told you. I need an idea for my science project. It's due on Friday! 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 Friday. 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 No, class. It's time to share our science projects. Philip, would you like to be first? Philip, are you listening? We're all waiting. Are you listening to me, Philip? Are you listening to me, young man? Philip! Philip! Philip, we don't have all afternoon. Bring your report up here. You've known about this assignment for two weeks, Philip. I'm in a funk science! Oh, how can anybody study with all that noise? Turn off that music and go to bed. That's it. Dinosaurs. 
I'll do my report on dinosaurs. It'll be great. They'll go crazy over it. I'm saved. Dinosaurs? What were dinosaurs? How did they get so big? Why? Why? what people wondered for hundreds of years before they discovered that fossils tell us about the Earth's past. Where did they think those big bones came from? They hadn't the slightest idea. So they made up stories and legends about monstrous beasts that might have lived long ago. You mean like dragons and stuff? And Godzilla? So how did people learn about dinosaurs? Before there were books, I mean. The rocks told them. But rocks can't talk. If you listen carefully, the rocks have an awfully lot to say. I still don't get it. The grooves on a record remember a song, right? So does a fossil. The imprints remember a lot about something that used to be there. The whole history of the Earth. I'm beginning to see it. And once people knew what to look for, they found fossils everywhere. What a mess! Where did they start? <laughs> it took a lot of imagination in the beginning. But how can you tell if you're right? Do bones tell about muscles? Or skin? For all you know, dinosaurs had fur coats. Bones do tell how muscles work. You have to think like a detective. Sometimes you get the right answer. Sometimes you'll make a silly mistake. But the truth is magnificent. Wow, they really are beautiful. I mean, there's nothing like them. But they're just bones. Don't you understand? You still don't see them, do you? What were dinosaurs? Where did they come from and why? how dinosaurs get so big? Something made them different. But now they're all gone. Why? It's an amazing story. Long, long ago, a shallow sea filled with plants and animals covered most of the land. Then, about 200 million years ago, the sea dried up, and almost everything died. I get it. There was tons of space for animals to live on land. Exactly. New animals developed the ancestors of insects and birds and mammals, but the greatest of them all were the dinosaurs. No wonder. Would you mess with those guys? I would. <laughs> no way. Soon, dinosaurs filled the swamps and the plains, the forest and the mountains. Everywhere there was to live. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. 
Some were huge, and some were small as pets. Some were fierce, and others were gentle. There were ugly ones, and beautiful ones. Some lived in herds, and some shook the earth when they walked. Some were graceful, and some were terrifying. For 150 million years, they were a world unto themselves. And then what happened? I mean, where did they all go? That secret is still locked inside the rocks and the oceans and the stars. There's still a lot of detective work to do. Go on. Look. Maybe you will find it. Maybe you. Maybe you. Can't wait to tell them everything. You know why Crunch Berries are special? You bet. Cause Captain Crunch only picks sweet, yummy, special berries like us. Making my Crunch Berry cereal. Mm, very delicious. Yay, Crunch Berry! Crunch Berries are a very sweet part of a balanced breakfast. When you got a big taste for a bubble gum, you can follow the captain and get yourself some. Two whole packs that'll blow you away. And peanut butter crunch or crunch berries. Hey, rainbow bubble gum, especially marked box. Where are you going with those stripes? That's aqua fresh for kids. Just follow me. Toothpaste. I hate to brush. <laughs> aqua fresh for kids makes brushing fun. It's got a zingy taste kids love. Fluoride, too, and it's easy to pump and has a neat top. Great, right, but how are you going to get those stripes in there? <laughs> Watch! Aqua fresh for kids. I make brushing fun. My McDonald's Happy Meal, please. Thank you. My McDonald's Happy Meal, please. Rubble, rubble. Hamburglar, you've really become attached to that McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> Here come the Fraggles in their vegetable cars. And you can get either Gobo Fraggle, or Red, or Boober and Wembley, or Moki, when you buy a McDonald's Happy Meal featuring Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock toys at McDonald's. This morning, this morning, we're going to discuss the biggest animal that ever walked the earth. Richard. The dinosaur. Jump, jump. And because Philip is very interested in the subject, I've asked him to give a report. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. What a drag. Boring. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard. <laughs> Actually, they weren't lizards at all. They were reptiles. <laughs> the largest ones weighed as much as a hundred tons. Say, man, that's heavy. But the smallest dinosaur was not much bigger than a turkey. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
<laughs> Until recently, scientists believed the dinosaur to be extinct. But now they believe that there is one animal that is directly descended from the mighty dinosaur. Crocodiles. Elephants. Margaret's mother. Birds. Birds. Birds? And it all began with an egg. Unlike the fishes and amphibians before them, the dinosaurs laid their eggs out of the water. When they were born, they were prepared to exploit the land. Exploit? Did you say exploit? There were tall ones. That's you, Margaret. Short ones. Richard, just shut up. Fat ones. And flat ones. You again, Margaret. Children, come now. Who knows what the dinosaurs ate? Anything <laughs> they wanted. <laughs> yeah, man, in the movies, they eat people. That's so neat. Oh, people, man, they just hang out their mouths. Yeah, man, they be kicking their legs and everything. It's really cool. Dinosaurs did not eat people. Yeah. Well, that oh. sounds really disappointing. There weren't any people. The last dinosaur died 60 million years before man. And how do you even know they were here? Yeah. Because scientists have found their bones, and they put them all together. They know a lot about them, how big they were, how they moved around, what they ate. They even found dinosaur footprints. Dinosaurs! <laughs> Um, sit down, Richard. I'm starving. What did dinosaurs eat? What's for lunch? I don't know. Read the lunch menu. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. Now, that means that they ate only plants. They were harmless creatures with teeth suitable only for chewing soft plant food. Brussels sprouts. But some dinosaurs had rows and rows of huge teeth. They were the carnivores. Yeah! That means they ate only meat. Stop eating jewels, man. Sometimes they ate other dinosaurs. I think I'm gonna be sick. But the largest of the giant dinosaurs was a plant eater. <laughs> the Brachiosaurus was 50 feet tall and slow-witted, with a brain the size of a kitten. <laughs> It got by with fewer ounces of brain in proportion to its weight than any other backboned animal we know of. Except for Richard. The longest dinosaur measured one-third the length of a football field. That ought to keep everybody in the locker room. <laughs> when he received a message here, it had to travel all the way to its brain. Here. Yeah! And then the message from the brain had to travel all the way back again. That could take as long as a minute. So the Diplodocus had a sort of a helper brain. Here. You ought to send away for one of those, Richard. You need some help. The Ankylosaurus was the armored tank of dinosaurs. Like other plant eaters, it moved slowly, and its teeth were only good for chewing plants. <clears throat> But shields of bony plates covered its back, and small ones nearly covered its face. That looked like Margaret's mother. And it carried a tail like a war club. Ow! That hurt! And for my next number, The I'll meanest be and most head. ferocious of the dinosaurs was the meat-eating Tyrannosaurus Rex. It had teeth as long and sharp as knives, and it could open its mouth a full four feet. Don't say it, Richard! Its name Margaret. means Tyrant Lizard King. And when he talked, everybody listened. What happened to them, Philip? They died. Oh. <sighs> of what? That is a mystery. There are many theories regarding the extinction of the dinosaur, but no one knows for sure what happened. Next. A change in climate may have been responsible. Vast areas of dinosaur country cooled, and perhaps the dinosaur couldn't adapt. They were too big to burrow into the ground and too bulky to move to a warmer climate. Why don't we move Philip to a warmer climate? How about the furnace room? <laughs> Some people believe that growing numbers of mammals were eating the dinosaur eggs so that fewer and fewer of them were hatched. Awesome bird brain! Changes in the Earth's surface may have endangered the dinosaur as well. Mountains were pushed up and swampy lands turned into desert. 
With fewer plants to eat, the plant-eating dinosaurs became fewer. And cool. And the plant-eating dinosaurs had been food for the meat-eating dinosaurs. What a drag. So then, there were fewer meat-eating dinosaurs. I don't want to die! Shut up! <laughs> and that's not all. Some scientists think the rays from an exploding star... about it. 200 million years ago. The Jurassic period. Wow. The land was covered with thick forests of conifers and giant ferns. There were marshes and bayous everywhere. It was warm then, almost tropical. Jeez. This was the home of the dinosaur. He was everywhere for a hundred million years, eating and fighting. I mean, we were nowhere then, man. Those guys ruled the Earth. Do you know that they found a shoulder blade of a dinosaur that's taller than the man who found it? A shoulder blade, man! Do you know how big that is? They call him Supersaurus! And he was as big as 15 African bull elephants! Oh, man! I mean, nobody messed with him! Would you mess with a guy that eats pine trees for lunch? <laughs> Jeez, no, you wouldn't. I don't care what you think you'd say to a dinosaur if he was right here. Hey, man, that's my pine tree. Don't eat that pine tree. I'll call my lawyer. <laughs> hey, no way. You don't say nothing. You just be as quiet as a mouse, M-O-U-S-E mouse. And hope he doesn't step on you. I mean...
I think that deserves a little respect. Hey, girl, that was all right. Thank you. Oh, congratulations, Philip. Philip, I'm so proud of you. That was wonderful. It's really sad that they all died, isn't it, Philip? No, Barbara. It's not sad. It's nature's way. For after the dinosaur died, the mammals had a chance to develop. And the mammals have a superior brain by far, if I do say so myself. Are you going to give another report tomorrow? Oh, we'll see, Barbara. We'll see. Hi, time for timer. What? No time for breakfast. Now look, since six o'clock last night, you haven't eaten a bite. Come on, I'll show you why that's really not the way for a growing kid to start a busy day. Here we are inside your body, and this noisy empty space is your stomach getting angry because there's no food in the place. Uh-oh, let's find some food fast. Now listen. I don't want you to think this is the best way to eat breakfast, but in case you can't cook, and if you haven't time for a good cereal in a well-balanced meal, then this quickie breakfast is better than nothing at all, okay? Hey, here's orange juice and milk and fruit juice waiting to be taken. And bless my soul, right here's a bowl with one cold piece of steak in, a hard-boiled egg or chicken leg or cheese or lunch and meat, or a peanut butter sandwich any time of day is a treat. So do keep your mom from grumbling and stop that stomach rumbling and keep your legs from stumbling when you play. You gotta eat some kind of breakfast every day.
Daddy? What is it? I don't know, Annie. Sounds like one of the big boys is having a midnight snack. I bet it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Unbelievable. I gotta get this on tape. Yeah. You stay put, Kev. Oh, come on, Dad. Please. Look, I'll be really, really, really careful. No, it's not safe. Biggest battle in history, and I missed it. <sighs> fabulous, just fabulous. You okay, sweet face? Yeah, it's just those sounds. They were so sad. You miss home, don't you? Yeah. And this place is so big and wild. Well, Annie, you better get used to it because we're not going to get home for a long time. Oh, yes, we will, Kevin. We will get home. That's a promise. I'm getting some sleep. It's okay, honey. Little growing music, guys. Okay, big guy, come on. Lot to do today. The sooner you and Annie get back with water, the better. Come on. Come on. Yo, Dad, wouldn't it be quicker if, you know, you took the truck? Kev, this truck's our ticket home. And when the time comes, we don't want to be stuck out of gas. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Come on. No way. Question is, who's going to run out of gas first? The truck or me? Hello, Earth to Annie. I, I just saw a Triceratops right there. You just saw a Triceratops right there? He looked at me, and I smiled, and he walked away. <gasps> Annie. <laughs> the old Kebster knows a little about dinosaurs, and a Triceratops would never in a billion years do that. OK, Kev, whatever you say, you're the big expert. Glad to see the light. Walks on two legs. Probably a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This must have been the fight we heard last night. How awful! It even ate all our eggs. Come on, let's go home. In a second. 
Man, with all this footage, we get back to the real world. I'm gonna own Hollywood. Who cares? Come on, Kevin, let's go home. Oh my gosh. Kevin, here's what he missed. Annie, I've seen some stupid things before, but this is a classic Waldo move, even for you. Dinosaurs eat stuff. Other dinosaurs' eggs. And even other dinosaurs. I mean, how do you know this, this won't hatch? They need us. Ah, ha, ha. The T-Rex! It's coming from the treehouse! Job for Darkwing Duck. Adventure's never been wackier. Suck gas. Fun's never been quackier with Darkwing Duck. Sparkle TV on ABC. Who cares? Class is in session at Bayside High. There's biology, chocolate covered grasshoppers, chemistry, psychology. Doesn't anybody feel the way I feel? Saved by the Bell premieres Monday, November 2nd on TBS. I was tired, listless. My hair looked bad, my dog moved away. My life was as bland as your average chicken sandwich. Then I tried McDonald's new Max Grill. Now this was different. A marinated chicken breast with Monterey Jack, sweet red onions, tangy herb dressing on an oven fresh roll. Well, things changed. My hair looks great. My dog came home and we struck oil in the backyard. Coincidence? We don't think so. <laughs> Try McDonald's new Max Grill. Further proof that what you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Introducing Quackers, little ducks with a lot of flavor. So now, all the cheddar cheese flavor of a cheddar cheese puff is in a little duck. 
and all the sour cream and onion flavor of a sour cream and onion chip is also in a little duck. New flavor-coated quackers in sour cream and onion, crispy original and cheddar. A lot of flavor in a little duck. Return to Land of the Lost. Jody! You okay, Dad? I'm fine, except for 10,000 new gray hairs. It was a Tyrannosaurus, huh? Big scar down his face. A T Rex. I knew it. Unbelievable. Yes. You thought he ate you. Almost did. Yeah. Hit him right in the kisser with the old boot trick. <laughs> Slowed him down a little. Just enough. Oh, my throat's dry. You guys bring that water? Yeah, it's back on the trail. It's next to Annie's surprise. There you go, little guy. Safe and sound. Let's see. How do I want my omelet in the morning? Besides bake. You lay one finger on this, Kevin, and you'll be sucking your breakfast through a straw. Ooh, I'm scared. Hey. Hey. What's the problem, guys? She, she is. I know things got a little rough today, but we came through it just fine. We're still together. We're all in one piece. Sort of. Huh? Yeah, but for how long? Old Scarface can come back at any time for a little porter kebab. That's why we rigged the new alarm system. It'll buy us some time. Right. Our pen can alarm system. I feel much safer now. Oh, 
It's your dumb egg. Kevin, when an animal hatches, the first creature it sees was imprinted as its parents. So, congratulations, Dad. No way. I'm too young to be a, a, a dad. And I'm your mom. I'll call you Natasha after my own mom. <laughs> Mama would have liked that. Dumb daddy. Understand, Tasha? <laughs> Electricity? Wait a minute. You think Scarface might come back tonight, Dad? Tonight, tomorrow night, who knows? But, gotta be ready, so let's go through it one more time. Is the bait ready? Yep, by the door. Runway? We soaked it again before dinner. Okay, we're as ready as we're gonna be. You guys can turn in. I'll take the first watch. Tasha? What's wrong? This might be it. I'm going to drop. Now you guys be careful. Look at those teeth. What nasty dude. <laughs> Scarface. Move! One more step, come on. He's not on the plastic! <laughs> I'll get the bait. Ready? Yeah. One, two, go for it! What you want this? 
big guy. He's not moving, Kevin. One more step. He's still short of the plastic. I gotta get the dummy closer. No, you can't go down there. I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> Dad, did you see old Scarface book? Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to be back for a long time. No, and that took a lot of, a lot of guts. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty cool yourself, Dad. <laughs> Aren't you glad we have Tasha? She gave you the idea. Yeah, Tasha. You're OK for a dinosaur. MC Hammer back at you. Now it's time to check up on a new hero who has to fight the mole people who are pretty frightening. He's a duck who answers to the name of Darkwing. That's Darkwing Duck, a new mystery up next here on More Cool TV. Will Darkwing be able to see the light of day after a shady mole blocks out the sun? Find out next on the premiere of Darkwing Duck. Hello, Earl Sinclair here. You know, the mighty Megalosaurus, the Thunder Lizard, the Master Don Juan. Hey, Earl, stick with the script. All right. Don't miss Dinosaurs Wednesday. <laughs> ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Ahem. <clears throat> we all scream for ice cream. Thank you. Hershey's chocolate syrup. Mm. What was that? What was what? I heard a noise. Oh, it's not Nani. Oh. There it is again. What? It's that noise again. When you go back to sleep, I told you it's not Nani. There's no mistaking that nut and honey taste. Crisp flakes of corn smothered in sweet honey and roasted peanuts. Now I suppose that was nut and honey. Nope. Kellogg's nut and honey. That was the milk. Crunch.
read magazines, don't even listen to NPR. Create your own.